What is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft final game. Uh, this was the NU game between Snaga and Meeps. So, you guys already know the result of Snake Draft. Because, or at least if you watch the other videos, you already know uh, how it ended. Because we got those videos out right away, like as soon as they happen. But uh, me and Doc are still putting out the, the last few games. And I have a few of the lower tier games to do. Uh, so you guys could snatch these teams. You know, they're, they're probably still, even with the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon come out, a lot of these... Uh, the lower tiers especially aren't as changed as what like OU would be, so make sure you snatch up these teams all nice and good. And uh, yeah, uh, before we go right into the replay, we'll just look at the teams quick. So Meep Springs more, I would call it balance. Uh, depending like Altaria, could you either run like a Dragon Dance set, or a lot of times it'll just be like fat with like toxic roost sort of thing. Um, I would assume it'd be more, f it'd be like fat on this team, depending on the Delphox. So if this Delphox on Meep side is Scarf, then the Altaria will probably be um, bulky to take on opposing Delphox and like Embor. If this is like Wish Tech Delphox, it could be um, Dragon Dance Altaria. Uh, I'm assuming that either one of the fire types is probably the Scarfer on Meep's team. Uh, we'll see. And Snaga brings more brings an offense like Hazard Stack, which is going to be hard because Meep's Hazard Control here is uh, it's going to be hard for Meep's right because his Hazard Control is Cryogonal. But uh, Snaga has the um, the Miss Mag, uh, and Miss Mag has pretty good spadef, so it could switch in relatively well to the um, it could switch in relatively well to the Cryogonal. So I feel like if Snaga is able to get up his hazards, it's going to be hard on Meeps to uh, to keep up with this, these like offensive threats. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just hop right in. So we see double Delphox lead. I guess we could see a little bit um, right away what kind of Delphox these things are. So I'm assuming, by the way, Meeps is that that looks like Scarf to me uh, on Meeps side. As we see the Rhydon come out and get out, up the rock. So now, Vileplume will probably just go for e either Sleep Powder or Giga Drain. I think Sleep Powder is just overall better. Um, yeah, so he does go for Sleep Powder and misses, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Uh, now, uh, Snag is probably going to throw off uh, either like Knock or Toxic or... Yeah, so Meep stays in, predicting him to not go for the Ice move. And uh, unfortunately, he gets... Um, another dodge so that sucks for meeps and like i said i already feel like the matchup for him isn't fantastic because like i said it's gonna be hard for him to get the hazards off the field if the quillfish ever gets a spike up and spikes pressure his team really hard rocks and spikes uh vile plume is i want to use that for sure now in ultra sun ultra moon and nu with strength sap i feel like that thing's gonna be incredibly good uh it's just like a lot better recovery than like moonlight or whatever the hell they use now they can use synth or moonlight i think it's like the same shit um so yeah, the Cryogonal comes out, so Meeps is definitely should 100% click Freeze Dry, because I don't think there's any way that Snag is going to let him get these rocks off for free. Like I said, Meeps, like, if this is, normally Cryogonals aren't really running, like, me, like super offensive sets either anyways, they're more like support, uh, even though they'll run speed, because the speed tier on Cryogonal is really nice, right? But like, especially on Meeps team, on a more defensive team like this, I feel like it's not going to be like... I don't think it's going to do that much damage to the Miss Magius. If Snagger wants to go that route, and that's definitely what I would do. Like the Miss Mag's good, but it's it's more important to keep your hazards up than it is to like preserve health on your Miss Magius. So I feel like in general, just going into that hard right now is is a good idea. Uh, he goes Scrafty on the Toxic. Okay, and you get the what? You get the shut skin. <laughs> that was a goat play, and now Meeps is uh, scared out. So that was a a really good play by Snaga, I guess. Like. Knowing that Meeps wouldn't risk spinning uh, when there's a ghost in the back, so I he felt pretty comfortable going to Scrafty. You know, the thing is, like, the Rhydon does get rocks up really reliably on, like, the Delphox anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think it was, like, a, I don't think he made that risky of a play, even if he did spin. So we see Vileplume come out uh, on the double to Delphox, so now Meeps is probably going to be forced into that Altaria... That I was talking about before. I'm assuming because we, it looks because we saw Fire Blast on Meeps' Delphox. It's definitely a more offensive variant, so the Altaria should be defensive. Uh, and we do see that that does absolutely no damage, and it is leftover, so it's going to be Roost. Usually, I think this standard set is like Roost, Flamethrower, Toxic Haze, I think. Um, at least that's the set, yeah. That, that, that's like the most standard defensive set. Uh, so he's going to have to Roost here, or he just Toxics, uh, but Quillfish is like a safe. A switch in for Snaga, I guess. And now he's going to use this opportunity just to get up all of his spikes. Um, he could spike again here if he wants. Uh, or he could scald, like, fish for burn. But, like, I, either way, like I said, Meeps is in a pretty bad spot at this point. I would probably just spike again. But uh, we'll see what he goes for. He goes for Taunt. Um, I don't 
think he needed to do that because, like I said, I don't think the Altaria is going to be able to touch the Quillfish anyway. Uh, but yeah, he gets the freeze dry off now on the Mist Mag, but uh, you see that does no damage. And like I said uh, before, well, now that he's got the spike up, there's no way Snag is letting the spin go off. So Meeps is definitely going to keep this alive because uh, if he wants his team to function like correctly, he's got to get the hazards off eventually. So he's going to have to sack something here to what I'm assuming would be a Z move. So he sacks the Embor. Uh, so we're not going to see what this Embor is, but like, by the way, it was... Like, my instinct is that it was Scarf Delphox, and this maybe was some sort of, like, Z-Move Embor, like, Electrium or something. Or it could, it could have been, like, Banded. Uh, but that was, like, the only Z-Move user on his team, so it definitely could have been Z-Embor. As we go back into the Rhydon, that takes a lot, because he crits. Uh, now, Meep's probably going to go back into Vileplume, but I think Rhydon could just Earthquake here pretty much freely. Uh, is he just Dragon Tails? That works, too. Uh, that's a cool set. Uh, yeah, so Dragon Tail, especially with the Hazard stack, is going to be... This is really hard on me. He could just click it again, right? Yeah, he clicks it again. Takes out the Delphox. He doesn't need the Rhydon for anything in particular. So... Now Meeps is like in a bad position. I guess he could go Cryogonal, but then he's just going to have to... He's taking more uh, hazards, and he's going to be forced to click Ice Move anyway, because the Miss Mag's probably coming back out. Uh, yeah, so if I was Meeps here, I'm 100% clicking... Uh, 100% clicking uh, freeze dry again because Snaga should definitely go. He's so far ahead right now that I feel like he's just gonna go miss mag because he doesn't need that anymore and the hazards are way more important. So the crit does suck because I'm pretty sure based on the damage before I would have lived that and gotten off a good shadow ball. Uh, it wouldn't have killed Cryogono, but it would have done a good amount because I'm assuming Cryogono spit F. All right, so we see uh, DD on Scrafty, but like I said, most of these defensive Altarios will run Haze, so I don't think that uh, Meeps is in like he's not afraid of this thing. Really? Uh, he, DD's again. We'll see if he does have the haze, and he does. Um, the shed skin's going to be hard to wear the Scrafty down, though, because, like, Altaria's not really able to touch it much, because, like, if I said, if it's mono attacking flamethrower. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, so we see the Toxic come back out in the Quillfish. Now, Quillfish could either taunt or scald or throw. I don't think he necessarily needs another spike. I think he could just scald here and fish. Uh, the thing is, like, Altaria obviously is going to have natural cure, so, like, if it gets burned, it could switch out. Uh, but he doesn't have, like, good switch-ins to, to Quillfish anyway. Like, he could go Vileplume for sure, but Vileplume doesn't do that much back. And then he just gets, like, a switch into... He could, like, sack Rhydon and go, uh, like, Delphox or something like that, which would put us, Meeps, in a really bad position. So we see the Scalds on the Cryogonos. Cryogonos finally going to be able to get off this spin here. I feel like um, Snaga probably could have tried to double or, like... There is a play, I think there might have been some sort of like mid ground he could have made between like Meep staying in and not letting the spin go off, but the, the hazards have definitely done their damage by this point. Um, so now uh, Meep should definitely just click uh, Giga Drain to kill the Rhydon, uh, but he click, it, he does, he clicks Sludge Bomb and doesn't kill, it's going to let the rocks go back up, which that's really bad. Um, yeah, I feel like Meep's best player is just a Giga there. But uh, now he's got to deal with the rocks, and Vileplume's dead to rocks now, so... Uh, and I don't think he's getting off another spin, because I don't remember what Kragna was at, but it's super low, and it's taking 25 uh, coming in on rocks, so... Uh, I think Staga here could just go into... Um... He could really go into anything here. I think he could, like, going into... Uh, he could go into... Yeah, he goes into Quillfish and is just going to Scald, and that's fine, too, because... This doesn't let in the, the... The Altaria could come in, but because the Quillfish has Taunt, like, the Snag is going to beat it 1v1 relatively easily, especially after he gets a burn, which is going to happen eventually. So he could just, like, Taunt here and then spam Scald. And... I feel like Meeps, he's, like, he might try to Roost, but if I was him, I wouldn't even do it. Yeah, okay, so, like, Quillfish does Scald, so I'm, I'm surprised he just didn't take the safe route taunting i don't know if the well if the crowd gonna lives rocks i don't remember what percentage it was at that was the better play anyway uh now quillfish unfortunately gets burned by the flamethrower which sucks and meeps is spamming flamethrower here which is his play because like he doesn't want to get like have a wasted turn by clicking scald he wants to try and kill the quillfish as fast as possible uh we do see the burn here though on the altaria which i said was bound to happen and the thing is, like, this thing's going to get down weak enough where, like, he could go... Uh, oh, and his pain... Okay, so, yeah, it's Quillfish's pain split, so he's going to be able to keep the Altaria super low. After this dies, he just could go into Cryogonal and click Freeze Dry, would be my guess what he's doing. Uh, Snag is definitely taunting here for sure, so Meep should Flamethrower, and he does make that play. But, like I said, I, I feel like Snag has definitely won this game at the, by this point, because, like, um... 
the um, the Delphox is going to clean up here in the end too. Because uh, Altaria is ta taunted and will die to the Cryogonal coming out right now. Or he just goes Scrafty, which I guess is fine too. Because he could Dragon Dance and he can't get hazed. And he's just got to fish for burn, I guess. Because now he could just click Knock Off and uh, kill the Altaria. Yeah, definitely will kill from 42. And now uh, he's faster than everything. If he goes into Steelix, he could just click uh, Drain Punch. And um, I think that's game over for sure. So, Meep's a curse, but... That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all because he could just... Oh, he had high jump kick, but even if he didn't, he could have just drain punched again and then gone into uh, Delphox and clicked, like, Psychic move. Like, because that would have been... He would have been low enough after the drain punches anyway, so... Um, really well played game by Snaga. Like I said, the... Like, I've, I really liked his matchup going in just because, like, Hazards were such a problem for Meeps, and Meeps was not going to be able to get those things off the field, like, effectively at all, which... It's one of the reasons, like, I just, I'm not a big Cryogonal fan, like, it, it's used a decent amount in NU, I'm just not a huge fan, because, one, it's, like, weak as shit, and then, also, like, when you're facing teams like this, they always have, like, Miss Magius, like, these offensive teams like this, and you can never spin off it, and then you're, you're forced, you got, like, a bunch of hazards on your side, and then you just lose, and that's kind of what happened, you got overwhelmed by the spikes and the rocks, but, yeah, there's your NU game for you guys, um, I think I got, I think I'm still doing, I still have to do, like, Ubers, UU, are you? Did I do are you? I don't remember. No, I don't know if I did the are you for finals or not. I don't think I did. So, uh, but yeah, there's definitely still going to be a couple more coming from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave my man Doc some likes, comments, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.